So we're doing this uh, neural network uh, trainer web application in uh, Flask. It's doing training to hidden layer neural network that uh, predicts this uh, sinusoid uh, waveform. You can uh, change your training set size from 1 to 100. 50 is default. We try 100. Yeah, just adding more data points in there. So hopefully it uh, helps the training maybe a bit. We get about, uh, actually get a good result with this. Just pop it in to uh, GPT quickly. The problem that I'm trying to figure out, well, that's, I mean, to some of you it will be obvious. Why does that happen? But with the same uh, parameters when we retrain, uh, we don't get the same results every time, which is a bit odd to know why that is happening. Let me know if you know. Let me know if you know. It's not even something uh, LLM would have said. It's very poorly phrased, isn't it? Yeah, but you can see here that we train the same thing uh, using the same uh, parameters. The input is the same. It has zero noise level, but we get very different results. And yes, if you haven't checked bindychaos.com, please go do so. You'll be supporting the project that way. So one suggestion as to what could be going on. This random initialization. We tried setting up a, a set a number of seed function, but that utility is not uh, present. So we're getting an uh, error. It seems like tense uh, flow js doesn't have a built-in method to set glo global random seed seed um, it's using building javascript uh, math random function for generating random numbers which does not support setting a seed this means that the randomness in tensorflow is not deterministic if we need deterministic behavior we need to mock the random number generation function used in the code to return predictable value, but that won't affect the randomness in the TensorFlow.js library. Uh, okay, essentially two chatbots uh, talking to one another. Uh, what else was suggested? Use non-stochastic uh, optimizer. This isn't always feasible since stochastic optimizers are typically more effective. But in some cases, using non-stochastic optimizer might yield more consistent results. And how do I do that? The model compile optimizer CGD. Are selecting it from? Yes, if using SGD like that. Aren't we meant to be the stochastic gradient descent? Let me just do it by selecting SGT. As you can tell, they are still different every time you train. Uh, so SG, SGT, Stochastic Gradient Descent, is non-stochastic optimizer. Uh, this will override. Well, no, we don't want to do it. We can just select SGT as default. So we don't need that. And select it as default in the HTML. Uh, keep in mind that this might not always be the best choice. Stochastic optimizers are often better. Well, first it doesn't even work. It does not work. So when using non-stochastic optimizer, SGD doesn't seem to make any difference. Uh, the training is uh, still different every time. Very different. Um, every iteration. Uh, what else? Increase model robustness. Okay, that might require a separate prompt. Increasing model robustness. Making a model architecture more robust can reduce the impact of robustness. Yeah, we Select the JavaScript. Let's see if uh, Copilot can help with anything. 
I think it's suggesting to add more layers, two more layers for each hidden layer. The number of units in these layers is the same as the original hidden layers. The activation function is also the same. Adding more layers uh, or neurons can make your model more complex and might lead to overfitting. Well, thanks for that. Do we really need a more complex uh, average in results? Train model several times and average the prediction from each run. Let's start with that quickly. By the way, while it's uh, generating, yeah, someone was uh, posting this, uh, what are they called? What about this game, right? So I had the, apparently this uh, statistical inference. So it should, you need to find words that are related to statistical analysis. A very fun game, of course. And who wouldn't, who would be better <laughs> at playing this game <laughs> than GPT-4? But really it couldn't, couldn't actually do it. It couldn't generate code that actually works. Possible directions, what? Okay. So it's searching, so it generated Python code that is supposed to take that image. It's uh, turning it into a grid uh, matrix. It uh, generated a list of um, a theme, a words related. I'm sure it can generate like a gazillion of them. That's what it's good at, right? Well, I mean the actual LLM. And then Python could just do the automated search. And then now cool thing about it yeah i'm thinking adding something like that to the to the website where you could play these games and uh, select the topic so for example select whatever statistic so it gives you you know this one and you have to find these words but muscle might also give you eeg and analysis and then you have to find words related to eeg analysis how cool would that be but of course we won't be doing those manually i think some people do we want to have something automating the generation of those uh, letter grids. I'm pretty sure it can do it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it, it's uh, having trouble to actually solve uh, this one to play this game. It's trying to run stuff on its own server, which is never successful. I don't even know why, you know, why bother. So I need to run it uh, locally. Might uh, try it sometime okay this is nice but we actually need to improve the code so assuming we do not need to make this model more complicated than it already is uh, what can we improve well, on the visualization front the css code is not uh, doing super well Sorry for that, I had to sneeze like it. there is a, a, was it not snooze, a mute button can be very helpful. Yeah, so that's what it looks like when uh, when they use the CSS that we currently have. But it kind of uh, makes things a bit, uh, well, how do I say it politely, uh, ugly. And let's format the document quickly. Yeah, we only have about 86 lines of uh, HTML. The rest is uh, the description. Uh, we're not currently doing anything in the in uh, Python. However, probably could uh, store you know each run on the server. Do I want your runs? So if someone's using the website, it will actually send the uh, all the parameters and the result and the result should be this one value like the minimum a uh, training loss uh, function output and then we'll need like an iteration number this will be a table that we store i don't know is it useful though let me know what you think and yes go check out bionicchaos.com all the tools i developed eventually available on this website they are all being deployed eventually and you will be helping out the project by visiting the website and because you'll be watching some ads so don't forget to turn off your ad blocker when you do so
let's do one more iteration on the css currently when the window is uh, wide the controls are not uh, displayed on the side of the two charts yeah once something doesn't work uh, in the first prompt it probably would not work at all on the larger screen make the charts width not to be wider than two thirds of the screen yeah but it's starting to generate slowly like this it's a very not good sign well at least we have something working yeah you always want to fix everything before you know a big release but we won't be able to fix everything something not flexy that a problem next direction comment for the main content with padding as well oh come on it's working then on a the smaller screen it doesn't actually work this is a mobile ah ba, 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 ba. it still doesn't work start fresh yep yeah this is the problem with neural nets is like it's highly non-deterministic like as in when it uh, shouldn't be that non-deterministic let me turn off the css for a sec yeah i'll just keep it in this view yeah now it's kind of training okay now it's uh converging uh, before it was doing funny stuff and yes there is a lot of things we could improve Proof. yeah whatever it's a bit odd but uh, converge the training set size yeah sometimes just restarting the training helps which is a bit odd yeah there's too much uh, random stuff uh, in it which i don't like but uh, yeah neural nets are not going anywhere it should be a simple uh, training exercise the model should be as uh, simple as possible we are just trying to predict the sinusoid so especially with no noise in it the prediction result should be perfect and then later we want to see how increasing noise in the sinusoid will reduce the performance of the prediction algorithm below is the code that we currently have any suggestions are uh, welcome while it's generating yeah we have this other thing that we would like to to do it's a bit of a game but that's how we learn so we might uh, what are these things called a search puzzle uh, should we just call it uh, puzzle We'll have a good puzzle, don't we? HTML. Uh, we'll do an info, a text that the uh, image is broken. Should have it somewhere. How did that break? Can you see random in it? I don't see anything in it. I think like the way it's, uh, you know, what the image is being displayed, the letters are being displayed probably makes a lot of difference. Maybe if they inside boxes might help aren't they normally inside boxes puzzles like this so where's data why did it just hallucinate well anyway it started generating um python code that we actually use uh, want to use to solve these puzzles but if we can solve a puzzle then we should be also be able to generate more of these puzzles and that image is not really an uh, info file this is the prompt do like a prompt one prompt two files so we can uh, actually monitor how many sessions we had with a specific tool yeah the info text should have uh, other things in it so we would like a tool to be able to generate and solve a uh, puzzles or like this and we want it as a flask application go <laughs> yep <laughs> start programming yeah this is more like the oop, it's the other way around is it yeah, we'll hit the prompts the info will be yes yeah, stuff like that that will be a good uh, info yeah we 
to unlock multiple HTMLs, uh, I would like it to be visible in one window. And yes, we'd like it to be a Flask application, uh, but most of the stuff, if possible, should be done in JavaScript. So we don't spend too much electricity on the server. Okay, well, that one's generating. We can go, go back. A couple of things. We'll turn this in. Can you turn this into HTML text? And then obviously done is uh, working much better as the uh, activation function. We, we will read everything <laughs> before publishing. Yeah, so we might want to change the optimizer to SGD by default. Select SGD as default instead of Adam. And the activation function I want to be using can we use done h as default instead of the ReLU? <laughs> no okay yeah, so we have uh, sgd as uh, optimizer and uh, done h as the uh, activation function because apparently it's better for sinusoid uh, prediction and uh, yes it is doing much better i'm pretty happy if that it's not perfect so we want we don't want it to be perfect let's train again with uh, more data points it's getting pretty close to zero the training loss that's pretty good now the question is what happens when we increase noise level let's just pop it through the roof and yes before it's still pretty good Probably could increase the noise level move to steps of 0.1 should be fine. And to begin with, can I have 0.5? Why do we need this number here and there? So I have some minimal noise. Get down to 0.1. Uh, a training loss if we increase the training data set getting yeah just below 0.1 it's only marginal improvement increase the number of hidden layer size both the first and second to six and four let's see what happens yeah, it's pretty much the same learning rate yeah, doesn't make much difference. Let's restart. Uh, yeah, let's uh, do the training set size the uh, 100, noise level large, the largest can take. 0.4. Yeah, so, well, that's what we wanted. Uh, that's what we wanted to happen to show how we've increased noise the performance of this prediction reduces and uh, when we move the noise to zero the performance should increase it's not why it's 0 0.06 as opposed to 0 0.4 uh, yeah so there you go i'm pretty happy with it we'll try publishing it on the website still uh, might uh, do a few minor improvements have the text over there is pretty much the pretty much the prompts yes does yes this will be a um, clashing a uh, because we have the style template for the whole project so we don't want the two style sheets to interfere with one another. And we better finish up. Uh, yeah, happy with that. Example of uh, how to train a neural net. Can you give a summary? We are currently live streaming on YouTube, so you could uh, also do an outro. Be nice. This was the recent tool on binary chaos dot 
go go check it out it was the plan out one but we also have the particle motion ecg label bot doesn't really matter we need the template for particles particles the hdm this is not a flask application this one yeah let's go for this is just javascript let's go for cardio bot cardio bot cardio bot must be a flask app yes it is yeah we need a couple of things from it we need this my app a file so neural net a neural net and uh, what else do we need in the html for this thing templates index html and uh, we need a bunch of stuff in the body we need this header because that's what the uh, yeah makes it the uh, look more familiar yes we can put ads already it's okay otherwise we'll also forget uh, later on um can do title is it thinking is it doing anything you're on that work trainer a web-based neural network training interface that allows to train neural network on the fly within the browser using tensor.js sounds amazing in an image um we don't have an image to update this later right and we have the style CSS for the for this tool and then for the whole project it's kind of important you know finish finish it up later on i'll see you in a bit let me know if there's any question put them in the comment don't forget to check out barnacles.com you'll be helping the project this way see ya bye